Hi and welcome to How to Not Build a Trail with your host Jambi Jambi and I'm here today on the property that I live at which is in northern New South Wales called Yangura and today spring has sprung a little early mid-winter and I've gotten my juices flowing to build a trail for this summer of fun on my starling Murmur 29er and I'm going to be going through what to not do probably when building a trail so come along for the ride how to not build a trail with your host Jambi Jambi day one okay so first I've picked a spot that I like to ride already and I know sort of what kind of lines that I take through this little patch and I've loosely drawn out a couple of lines now we've got a lot of mulberry bushes uh, blackberry bushes here so pretty prickly territory um, and all I've done so far is sort of cut out a line that I think that I might like pulled a couple of features out from the bushes packed a little dirt around it and now I'm just going to run this little section over and over and over again and see if I like it before I kind of pat it all down and make it a little bit more semi-permanent tools that tools that I'm currently using mainly this hoe I've never done this before and I want to make sure that I tailor it to my specific needs bespoke trail in the back my backyard love that um, so I have this little feature which is like a tiny little berm into a tiny little jump and I was noticing that I was not able to go straight like I wanted to so I'm building a sort of a longer berm to help me get around this corner to shoot me straight over to the jump that I'm going to build over there so bespoke to my needs I recommend riding your trail as you build it yeah that's how you'd build a trail maybe I don't know <laughs> a natural bit of formation in the land to help me build this little nugget of a jump then I just sort of like brought down a whole bunch of dirt piled it on top of some fillers which were like dead logs and then it's going to go into like a larger berm um it's pretty soft but it looks like it's gonna hold and then um yeah I'm gonna ride it for like half an hour over and over and over again and see if we can get that dirt nice and smooshed um yeah yeah one of the obstacles I face doing this um, track is that I live on a fo cattle farm so there is a four-wheel drive that often is doing rounds past this so I have kept that into consideration and they come up here and I've decided that I will make a little gap jump over the track that I'm going to encourage them to use so obviously there's no track at the moment but um, yeah they're going to be able to sort of go over that sort of flat leveled area not damage the trail too much and this is going to be a little gap jump that we can shoot where is it that we can shoot over this trail and then we go down into there mm, this will be good something that i have learned is that using grass i thought maybe it would be like a bit of a filler for some of the jumps like something that kind of binds it together but actually kind of does the opposite where it like allows a bit of like extra space in between the dirt or something and um actually just like stops it from compacting like normal maybe gap jump over
Thanks for tuning in to How Not to Build Trails with Jams. I'm your host, Jams. And today's lessons include maybe two hands better than one. Um, don't put grass in your mounds. Maybe you can, I don't know.